Okay, well, let's go follow the elf. Follow me! In here! I'm on me way. Chill. Or do I just walk into it? Fair play, if I had to actually climb in. There is quite a cool little underground area here that we're about Warning. to... This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. I will, just relax. <laughs> now that is pretty cool. I can remember when I was a kid, I used to draw loads and loads of images like this. Of like robots fighting aliens and stuff, and like having huge underground bases full of tunnels like this. Those were the days. Hmm, kind of cool music. What have you got for me, Mr. Elf? Bum, 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 bum. I never take anything without giving in return. For your generosity in giving me those exquisite emeralds, I give you my finest pair of shoes. May they help you in your quest. Oh, cheers, dude. Shoes. Not like a sword, then, or a gun. It's the way out of the dark forest. Thank you very much for all your help. I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for these fine shoes. No, oh, we'll soon see, Graham. We shall soon see. Right, I do know where three of those things are. What we have to do. I know, firstly... We've got to go give the Willow a golden heart. The shoes are given to... The shoes are given to somebody in town. The shoe shop, that's it. Bom bom. Da da! Oh, I'm glad to see you're okay. I was beginning to worry. You were right not to want to venture in that dark forest, Cedric. I thought I'd never get out of there alive. No thanks to Cedric, folks. So really... Right. Quickest... Well done. No, no, no. That way to the Weeping Willow, actually. Now, you just need to chill, love, because I've got a present for you. My heart, you found it! Yay, she's I a girl again! Thing anymore. With really red... well, Look really red me, skin? Herbert! Alicia! <laughs> <Bert>. <laughs> Get a room. Where have you been all this time, my love? Oh, darling. Just take me home. I'll tell you on the way. And so, <laughs> and so just like that. Not even a thank you, not nothing. Now, why would she toss aside this beautiful harp? Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Of course you will, Graham. You'll take anything that isn't nailed down. You're a man after my own art. Now, actually, let's hope the gypsies have gone now. Aha! Perfect, they have. We're very close here, folks. Very close indeed. Not seeing the tambourine's owner... Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground. Rescues it. He stole it, basically, narrator. Stole. 
So now, oh, I know where we go. We've got to go back to the gnome. I remembered what you do with that. Oh, come on, Graham. Come on, come on, come on. Um, the gnome's this way, I think. Oh no, I've gone wrong. I've gone massively wrong, actually, I've just thought, because he's actually to the... I think he's to the west from here. Now, can Graham work out he's got a walk... Can he do it? Is he going to walk right? Ah, he is! Well done, Graham! Well done, sir. Now, at this point, folks, because you've got the tambourine, you can actually go into the next part of the game if you wanted, but you would die. Well, you might not die, but you would certainly get stuck. Um, is that a tambourine? Yes, it is. That's not it. What am I about? Um, he doesn't want the tambourine. He wants the... That's it. Where did you get this? I thought I had lost it. Oh, is it yours? I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. So that's where it got to. The old hag took it, eh? You know, this ain't an ordinary spinning wheel. It's not? What's so special about it? Why, this spinning wheel can spin straw into gold, that's what. Except you gotta know who to use it. I doubt even the witch could figure that out. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Oh wait, not so fast. How about that marionette? Don't you think the price of the spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. Yeah? I guess so. Boy, give that marionette to the man here. I'll make you a new one. Come on, boy. Let's gather up some wood for a new puppet. Oh, a very well-behaved grandson. Green was just a little bit too obsessed with that, but at least we got it. Okay, so we're really doing the last few bits and bobs now. Now, if we go back to town... Now, again, whatever you do, do not enter the inn, because the inn, this area, is the last part of this, uh, this area, really. Just let me think. The marionette, I'm pretty sure, goes to... There's someone in town. I can't think who it is, though. I know the shoes go. The shoes go to the shoe sh uh, the shoemaker. Be very careful not to fall in the water, which wouldn't be that clever. Not now that, in fact, I haven't saved for a while. That might be an idea. Doodle -do 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 -do. Come on, Graham. I'm sure you can work it out. So thank you. No, it should be. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Very nearly there now, folks. Bom 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 bom. And this is why I think this game is a bit of a troll. <sighs> it's coming to the bit where if you hadn't have saved that rat earlier. Then it would have let you play it on until like just after this point. And then you would have got stuck. Now, which is which shop here? Ah, good, that's the. T ah! I know, I know. I get it now. It's come flooding back to me. Bum, 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 Come on in, 
Look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. I am actually. The shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa. Okay, Papa. Yeah, my darling. Can I keep this doll? I really like her. Now, Katrina, you know these toys are for sale for other kinder. Besides, you've got plenty of dolls. You can play with her, but just be careful. All right, Grandpapa. I'll take care of her. Ah, cute little granddaughter. A pretty little girl, who must be the toy maker's granddaughter, plays with a doll while grandfather looks on. A pet goldfish swims endlessly around in its fishbowl. Oh, I think I'm here able to pick it up or something. Right, let's give the marionette to this dude. I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it! Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled in trade. Why, of course! But I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I, I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of this quality... Ich weiß nicht! It's only a marionette, dude. Yeah, yeah, take it, it's yours. Okay. We're getting there, Thank folks. You very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and danke for the marionette. Right then. Now to the shoe shop to make the shoemaker happy. Take a look around if you want, but we don't have any shoes to sell you right now. We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore, and we're getting too old to keep trying. Is there anything I can do to help? There ain't nothing you can do, short of buying us out. But like I said, if you want to look around, feel free. Okay, thanks. I won't look, but I will give you something as a little gift. What have we here? Mama, take those shoes from the young man. Let me see them. Finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes is superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Why, well, I could retire from the sale of these shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. Good guy, Graham. You are God, said young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. No, 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 no. Don't talk so quick, dude. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. A weapon, maybe? Young man, we'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. Come on, Mama, let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. You haven't even sold him yet, though, you fool. Oh, well, we're finally ready to do the last part of Serenia. That's where we are at the moment.
And it is time to now go have one of the most trolling experiences in a video game I have ever had. When I was, as I think I said I was about 8, maybe maximum of 10 when I originally played this game, something around that age anyway, I got to this point thinking I was doing pretty damn well. And I suppose you could argue that I was. I'd got, I thought, fairly far. I'd figured out a few basic puzzles and a few more difficult ones. I obviously assumed that if I hadn't failed at this point, the game would not let... If I was to do something wrong, let's say, the game would end there. And I wouldn't be able to continue. Meaning I would know I've done something wrong. But oh no, not in King's Quest V. Not in King's Quest V at all. In King's Quest V, it works slightly different. Let me show you. Now we need to go into the inn. There's no two ways about that. Oh, you're Why such you a like coward, dude. Every single time. Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Boy, you've got a big tummy. Diana's bull ain't got no more rooms. Hey, boss! This guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Headshot. This is it. I got here for the first Girl time. He might. Graham could not escape his bond. Ah, but you see, the rat comes along. If you don't save that rat, you're just locked down here forever. But she's got like teeth like a machine gun. Thank you very much, Mrs. Rat. But that's the thing, how mean is this game? It doesn't even let you. Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rock right, just, on the stone floor. I'm just going back to when I was younger and I got to that bit and I screwed up. You get here and if you haven't saved the rat, game over. Because obviously at that point I'd saved over my original save. And I think that was one day when I nearly gave up. But I thought, no, I'm going to beat it one day. I think the only other thing we need to do here is use the hammer on the lock. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. Bonk. Now very important in here, is it this one? Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Ah, that's what we need. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg of lamb. Now again, this is one of those moments where... <laughs> if you were to go that way, even if you've saved the rat, if you go that way, then you go back into the room where you were caught before. Basically. Now... Let me just double check something. Finding the kitchen door locked, Graham unlocks it before going outside. Yeah, that's right. I thought I made the wrong choice for a moment there. If you go right, folks, game over. Because even if you've saved the rat... Even... Oh, no, I didn't tell you to go back in, Graham, you big noob. Even if you've saved that rat, she won't come and save you a second time. I found that out previously, the hard way. Now I've got one more thing to do, folks, and we are home free and into the mountains. Which is the next big portion of the game. In fact, it's not a, it's not a huge portion, actually, the mountains. Now, believe it or not, we've got to go all the way back to Crispin's house. Remember that snake we saw a long, long time ago? It's time to go kill, or at least scare, the snake. Now, 
And again, I know I keep saying it, but if you were to leave without that leg of lamb, again, you would be trolling yourself and you wouldn't be able to continue past a certain point. And that's what I always thought was mean about these games, in that it didn't actually tell you initially when you might have done something game breaking. Okay, Mr. Snake, time to scare you off with my tambourine of power. Be gone, you slithery varmint. Scat! That told him. And in we go, folks, to... Oh, Cedric's coming as well. A few hours later... And here we are, the mountainous regions of Serenia. Now, at this point, you need to put your coat on. Are you cloak, sir? Graham dons his warm cloak for protection against the freezing mountain air. And that's all we're going to do at the moment. I'm going to save. In the next video, we'll be taking on the mountains. But until then, until 